Buen dia. When I read the Bible, I'm fascinated by the people in the stories. Men like Noah and Moses and Paul. But my favorite is David. I can connect with his emotions on so many levels. Today, join me on a walk through the valley and its darkest shadows as I touch on the topic of fear. This is a challenging topic for everyone, both men and women. But as a man, I find this especially challenging as most of us have struggled with fear due to the way we were raised. Men should always be strong. Men should always be courageous. We should not fear. Yeah, right. Let's take a closer look at David. Psalm 56 is a psalm of David when he had been captured by the Philistines. This was not a time he was fearing something out there that might happen and thinking how he would handle it. You know, fearing shadows that never really come to fruition. No, he had actually been captured. One of the things he was fearful of had actually happened. And of course, at that point, our fears boil up even more. And here's what he says in verse 3 and 4. When I am afraid, which I am right now, I put my trust in you. In God, I will praise. In God, I have put my trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? And in this passage, I find that David has a solution for those times of fear when we're not afraid of something that might happen but actually the things we fear have happened to us. The thing I want to point out is what he says first, when I am afraid. He doesn't say, I put my trust in you, Lord, therefore I am never afraid. Hey, we have to admit that fear is an emotion, and sometimes it's the right emotion we have to have in certain circumstances. But David says this, I don't let it control me. I balance it out with my trust in you, Lord. Now, I think many of you know that biblically, the concept of faith and trust are really the same thing. And what we have here is the vaccine for fear. Even when fear is absolutely legitimate, you can beat fear. We can overcome fear with faith or trust. Now, part of the problem is we have often misunderstood what faith is. Sometimes we think faith is mental gymnastics, where I can put these blinders on and only see the positive in life. That faith is believing things that I know simply aren't true. That faith is taking risk and all these goofy definitions bouncing around in our head. But in reality, the biblical concept of faith is really quite simple, and it's this. Trusting God enough to do, to actually do what he says. Trusting God even though we don't know what the outcome will be. Trusting God enough to do what he says even in the short term, even if that short term outcome is not what we want. Trusting God no matter what. And therein is found the victory to overcoming fear. The emotions might still be there, because you can't control emotions. They just are. But as long as the actions of obedience are in place, fear loses its chokehold on us. Because spiritually, fear is only powerful when it becomes so great that it causes me, it causes us to take a spiritual shortcut, to make a compromise, or to take things in our own two human hands and do them our way instead of God's way. You see, that's the dark side of fear. That's the fear the enemy wants to put into your heart, wants to put in my heart. A fear that says, hey, Tom, God is too busy right now, or God can't handle this for me, so I need to handle it myself. And the solution is always the same. When I am afraid, I will put my faith, my trust in you, Lord. We put our faith, our trust in you, and we will trust in you enough to do what you say no matter what the outcome might be in the short term. Friends, therein is the path to walk through the valley 
and through its darkest, darkest shadows and come out safely on the other side. Let us pray. Father, thank you for loving us at all times, for pouring out your grace upon us and never giving up on us when we have failed to follow your word. Hold us safe and secure. Wrap our minds up with your truth. Guide our thoughts and calm our fears. Steady our emotions. Lord, sustain our souls with vision for the future and a hope for tomorrow. We need you, God. Amen. Have a blessed day.